Why do I say I'm not a children's entertainer? Because I'm not a Muppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your ass. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana. Please don't feel it comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth. A certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions, screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, please don't feel it comes in the milk, put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. When we hit the 250 vestry for that celebration, I'm going to debut a new vest. There we go. Celebratory bubble blow. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my microphone stand. There's bubbles everywhere tonight. I'm, I'm right now, for the next week, I'm literally strapped for cash. The only money I'll have is tips coming in on the streams. And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay two big bills next week. All my utilities are due next week. So now in the next few days, I have to raise money to pay my utilities. And then, you know, see what I mean? Like, this is how it is for me. Yet these shitheads out there want to fucking fuck with me behind the scenes, ruin my all kinds of financial shit for me. Make, then on top of that, make stuff up to try to make me sound like a terrible person on the internet. Up here, to make money, I have to pay Ben bills. You know, I have to pay Ben, pay Ben, pay Ben bills. I have to pay Ben, pay Ben, pay Ben bills. Bill. I have to pay my taxes, pay my back taxes. I have to pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill. I have to pay Ben, pay Ben, pay Ben. Bills. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills, bitch. Pay them taxes. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills, bitch. Day to day, tips to tips, to pay bills and things. Eventually, things will get better. But kind of stuck right now with how things are. That's why I'm trying to make money. I have to pay them bills. You know, I have to. Pay them, pay them, pay them bills. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills. Bill. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them taxes. Bills. I have to pay them, pay them, pay them bills. Bill. I have to. If you want to sit here and you want to pretend like you're holier than thou, I'm better than those content creators, man. Because I have a job where I work nine to five and I bust my ass at my job and I earn a paycheck, man. And I come home, see? I'm not on the internet begging for money all day, man. See, I'm better than them, man. No, you're not any better. Everyone's the same. No one's better than anybody else. Get your ass out there and fucking work, bitch. I did justice because back then I was pointing a camera at my television. It was terrible. I had just adopted direct capture. 2008 and my content's fine The way I do things is strange but uniquely mine I point a handy cam at my TV Record the footage and upload to DSP Space Gaming Here's another thing they say that I can do Those other streamers have a way to improve the view It draws the comments meaningful but don't be
understand that people right now are so hyped for the gifted memberships and I'm very grateful for that I mean thank you but I hope that that doesn't mean that people are going to forego tipping because that would put me in a bad situation and in particular in particular I don't know why you guys okay why are you laughing grocery shopping tips meal with my wife tips coming up my day off on Tuesday tips Nintendo online tips bills and stuff tips Tips are the liquidity of my business. Huh? Why are you laughing? Oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight. Huh? I literally. That being said. 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 Hello, hello. This is Phil. Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said, big ups. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said, relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said, relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. L team inside the legend. Fantastic Mr. Sam the dentist Steve to the dead psychological style host me or cat artistic style host tap being said which vest is podcast best tap being said which vest is podcast best? If there is ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on That Being Said. Uh, oh, 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 uh, 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 oh, 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 very uh, funny. Uh, anyway, uh, Sunday show in the house. We are ready to talk about the nonsense with a legendary special guest. In addition to our musical style, secret musical style. We also have a streamer style. Piece of piece. How you feeling, my friend? Uh, hello. I am good. How are you? Nice to have you here today with us. We are ready to rock with the piece of piece, the legendary piece of piece, the most requested guest of all time. Piece of piece. That's why he's here again for like the fifth or sixth time. So let's get into it today. Before we get into it, though, business style announcements from Meerkat Mob, please. Go ahead. Uh, do we even have any? I can't I really think, think, so. think of think so. of anything. So there you go. That was a quick segment. DSP <laughs> news. We do have a business style announcement update from the logical style host, from the man himself, Samuel. Please let's play the message. We all haven't heard this, by the way, but he gave us an update, so we're gonna play it for you. We're hearing it for the first time, just like you all. So let's go for it, Sam. Let's do it. Here he is, the man himself. Hey everybody, it's Steve of the Dead here. I'm sorry about the quality of the audio. I'm on my phone and I've snuck outside hospital to record this. Um, I wish I had a more positive update, but unfortunately my surgery, which was a week last Thursday, did not go well. I've been in a lot of pain since then, um, but fortunately the surgeons have identified the problem and I'll be going back under for another operation on Monday to correct the issue. And um, because of that and all the general sort of disruption that you get with being in hospital with like the nurses coming and making sure you're okay, the food, visitors, uh, physio communicating you up and about, all that stuff. Um, it, it's meant that I've not been able to reply to people as much as I've wanted to. So I just wanted to say to everybody, thank you all for your messages of support and well wishes and all the kindness and, and love that I've been given from the community. It, really means a lot to me and things have been quite shit recently and 
all of that has helped me get through shit bits and I am it just means so much to me I'm struggling to find a way to fit it all into a minute and a half but I just wanted to say thank you to you all I really miss you guys and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon somehow some way well Okay. Well, it's, I mean, it's on brand, isn't it? You can't fit it into a minute. <laughs> yeah, there's a part two. Um, that wasn't a, right, that wasn't a very happy on. message, but we do have a part two. Let's guys. see if things can yeah, turn up. There with. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. Hang on. There we go. It's all right. I swear, whatever happened the other week has just completely fucked up my system. <laughs> right. And I want to be able to hear you as well. Perfect. Right. Here's part two. Here we go. Uh, like I said, I don't know quite when I'll be back. It's going to take me uh, a long time before I can do uh, podcasts for any sort of like significant length. Um, but I will, I, I will talk with the guys and try to sort of like work out some way. It might be that I appear for like the last half hour for a while in a couple of months. But again, we're talking about in a couple of months when I'm okay and able to sit for that long. Because obviously surgery on the base of your spine kind of limits how long you can be at a desk for. But yeah, I, I just couldn't let all the sort of like love and support I've had go unanswered for so long. I wanted to make a more public sort of a, a acknowledgement and expression of thanks to everybody. I've really missed doing this. I've really missed the audience and I've really missed having that thing that part of my life helped me get through the bits where I'm waiting for surgery and I don't know when it's going to be and all that stuff you guys the audience have, have been an amazing source of strength and support for me through this so I really I, I just want to say thank you uh, thank you so much and part three part three this is the last bit now, I promise, because um, <laughs> I have to go upstairs and get in bed. It's already lights out, and I've been very naughty by by sneaking down and recording this in the first place. So <laughs> before I do, I also just want to say thank you for Sam, Meerkat, and ALT, because without you guys, I wouldn't be in this position to begin with. I wouldn't be recording this. I wouldn't have been part of this. This wouldn't be part of my life, and it wouldn't have been such a huge thing for me it's helped me escape from all the difficulties of of my condition and everything that goes along with it i really miss being there with you guys and i don't know how long it's going to be until i'll be able to do something like a dent sea scrolls or a group think again but I, I i miss hanging out with you i miss chatting shit with you and i really i am it's motivation to get back and get better so that I can do it again because it was just the most fun I've had in years. So thanks guys. Um, I'll never say this in any other context, but when you're ill, Sam's right. The original version of Lucas aid is better. <laughs> so true. Big, big finish there. Thanks Steve for that update. And everyone's obviously thinking about you, my friend. Uh, I don't know what else needs to be said, but thanks for the update. Nice to hear from you. And uh, take your time getting back, brother. Take your time getting back. Uh, I hope you'll. I hope to 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 change some topics. I think in the best way, Samuel. Can we please play what I think is the most obscure excuse DSP has ever said? Because we hear oh Steve's God. not saying any excuses, but Philip Brunell always does, and I think I found the most obscure one ever. Go ahead, Sam. Please play okay. it. Right. Um, <laughs> I like who was it that said it. Um, uh, fine line says, "Is this something money can fix?" So yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got two big discs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hopefully, uh, this is it's still in the right place. I did watch a bit of this earlier, but uh, right. If not, it's just going to be. I mean, it's going to be good to see anyway. But right. Yeah. Here, here we go. Oh no! 
No, no, hang on. They're not saying the right thing. There hang on. Oh, disaster. Don't stream. say it to me. Don't blame <laughs> ALT for this bullshit. Give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fucking hell. Right. <laughs> Should we talk, we a... talk a little bit of topics and then come back, or what do you think? No, no, it's fine. Okay, we're, we're he's back. ready. <laughs> they just got a glimpse of our, uh, this, our Google yeah. Drive, that's all. Uh, this right. is DSP playing Dance Central. Yeah. The rare, oh, this is the most <laughs> All right, that's good. That what I think is the most obscure excuse DSP has ever stated. It can't see my legs separate because I'm wearing pajama pants. Amazing. Was I'm not or something. <laughs> <laughs> they are like they are pretty baggy pants, to be fair. But I was, do you know what that that the way he had that set up always annoys me because he's kind of like he's got like some sort of transparency thing going on where the camera overlay isn't fully like opaque, if you know what I mean. Like so, you, yeah, you yeah. see some yeah. of the game behind it. So that footage of the classic footage of him dancing always has that kind of some of the game underneath mm -hmm. it. That always annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is there any clip that has more like legs than this right here? This dancing, you know, it's in so much shit. Go ahead, yeah. Mirka. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the first time I've noticed the thing Sam is talking about, and now I can't unsee it. It it actually makes me <laughs> irritated. <laughs> I don't know why you bother doing it because it's like it's not really like you're not really missing much from the game behind it. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy he did it though because now it's in so many different remixes and edits. Yeah. This this weird alien dance is so good. <laughs> so real quick mini challenge from alt if you can find a more obscure bag send it to us in whatever way you fucking want and we'll play it here clip a, a more obscure not bag excuse me obscure excuse right we all know the classics yeah. lag moves didn't come out cannon brothers are literally the devil that kind of stuff that's uh, obvious but pajama pants excuse now that's a rare one i thought so your challenge is in your the balls are dangling in your court now chat give me something more obscure than that uh, but anyways, let's think, get to... Wait, um, go ahead, Meerkat. Go yeah, ahead. since he's playing Call of Duty now, I think when he plays Call of Duty, there's usually some amazingly deluded excuses that he does. Where he just <laughs> invents a scenario that happened in the game that got him killed. And refuses to look at the kill cam, because that actually tells you what happens. <laughs> That's why we got piece of piece here today, because this is the week of excuses, Street Fighter excuses, and no one sees more than the piece of piece himself, so... Let's get into that Street Fighter fun. Um, I do want to talk a little bit, not to hung up, get hung up too much on this fucking shit again. But the Street Fighter's back. Detractors are the reason he's losing. Not because he's master. He's cross-play, not cross-play. I know it's tough to keep keep track of it all, uh, why he's losing. It's not because he's bad, though, but he's losing for some reason. Uh, could we hear the latest cross-play nonsense, Sam, if you don't mind? Just the last one. I'm not going to get hung up on this again like we always do. Oh, he, yeah, he, please. Let's actually find shit. out the the current stance on the crossplay <laughs> issue, because <laughs> like yeah, like you just said, he's just been going back and forth between on and off, and then the trolls told him one thing, and then his fans told him something else. It's really yep. hard. So let's let's catch up. It's yeah, crossplay. It's rollback. It's 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 everything combined. But go ahead, Sam. There's a good clip there. Oh god, yeah, right. <laughs> this is a long one. So brace yourselves. Right here we go. When I'm playing online and someone's playing a pattern, and I know how to beat the pattern and I go to interrupt the pattern or to shut down that pattern with my own and my inputs are dropping and my game just simply won't block high or low or in the middle of a combo, oh, just don't give me my input. So now my combo drops, I'm wide open and they punish that with like a 60 to 70% damage combo. You didn't learn. All you did was get annoyed by the game not working online. And this is happening a lot now. Like last night, <clears throat> that was like half my <coughs> matches. And how am I gonna have a good time and ever learn or improve? when the game just won't agree with me. And it's weird because I've told you guys this, I've definitely noticed that this uh, abso freaking lootly is happening a ton on Friday nights. And it's weird. <laughs> Why only Friday nights are the connections that bad? And the only answer I can have is because more people play on weekends, the servers are more loaded, Capcom <laughs> servers can't handle that many people playing at once, so the netcode's worse. I know that sounds stupid, but that's how it works. That, that's a great because this this is two parts this clip we've got, yeah. we've got another minute or so but that's a great part to end on the net code was worse i love that that's yeah the net code changes on the day you didn't know that 
they change it. <laughs> he's like a, a pensioner sometimes with his like bizarre, like his his understanding of how things work. He still thinks we're in like dial up days where it's like you know, oh yeah, the Americans are online now, so it's going to be slower tonight. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, some, some something here is loaded. Yes, thank you, Snoop. Something is definitely loaded. All right, play the second half, and we can talk about it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I keep telling people that's how rollback netcode works. The rollback oh. netcode it struggles a lot with certain situations. It absolutely does. If you have a situation, and this is, sounds really weird, but it's absolutely factually true. If you're <laughs> playing against someone online with rollback netcode, and you guys have a better connection, like let's say it's twenty milliseconds. Okay. Here we go. The person who literally does the most ad nauseum repetitive gameplay, like jab, 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 they will get their moves out nine times out of ten. If you're the kind <laughs> of person that waits to see what they're gonna do and then counters them, your move will not come out as often as the person who goes jab, 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 jab. Because when there's less time of buffer between the, the match, because 20 milliseconds, right? What it has to do is make that determination faster. It has to actually figure out what's happening on a faster basis. And when it does, it does that dice roll. And it says, well, the person no who's dice. played the same Wait, seven what? times Pause in a row, it. Pause likely it. Please explain. Than, than the person who yeah. played the same Pause it. Pause You can't pause. So right, that'll do. Yeah. Explain the dice roll. There is no there is no aspect of, of Robac Neko that has a dice roll. Unless, A... Hey, Maybe piece of piece, you know something different than me. Can you please go into this, please? What's your take on this? <laughs> I think his, I think his fucking brain has holes in it or something, man. That's what I think. Like, <laughs> like he's, he's at this point where he, he just, like, it becomes hard to tell if he's really that dumb or if he's like, because it's one of three things, right? Like, either he really is just super dumb. He well, you know, it could be a combination of those, obviously. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. he's like, um, you know, or he's just like I think um I think his like uh pay pigs and his like sympathizers will probably say he's playing a character because that's their own cognitive dissonance. Cause like someone like he has people who like him who play like this game, right? Yeah, yeah. And so they know how it works. And so they have to do this thing where they're like, I know how it works, but this dude who I like is saying the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. So the way that they like reconcile that is they probably say oh yeah he's playing a character he's just like no he's not though and then the <laughs> the most likely option is he's he's basically pignatized himself like it's um you know it doesn't only affect other people i think it affects yourself too if you do it long enough especially when you don't have someone to like you know check you to tell mm -hmm. you hey you're acting ridiculous so um yeah so basically what he's saying is um just uh, like there's no way to address it it's like it's like addressing just conspiracy theories where there's no logical basis on what people are saying a lot of the time. And I'm talking yeah. like the really out of their conspiracy theories. So you just go like, you know what? Sure, man. Whatever yeah. you say. Like you can't argue with that level of craziness. Like you can't, what can you say? Like, that's just not true. Okay. Really? So you believe them. You believe the Cannon brothers. Okay. Okay. You're clearly on their side. You can't ever argue in a logical fashion because yeah. When you're coming from that crazy, rollback netcode has nothing to do with rolling dice. That's not no. a part of it at any way, in any fashion. Absolutely not. He's watched the video. There's no guessing. In, I mean, the guessing is they. Uh, uh, he keeps saying guessing, yeah. but there's no guessing what you're doing. It takes your last input and says, "We're assuming you're doing that. And if you do something different, we'll we'll ch make changes according to that." There's yeah. no fucking guessing of rolling dice. And he's using these buds with like rolling dice. Like, yeah, here we go. Let's get that D20. Well, level three. Here we go. It's there like when it he is. says pat it's like when he says pattern. <laughs> he uses the word guessing like he uses the word pattern. He he like he fabricates like a meaning for things and then he just regurgitates it for himself. Because again, there's nobody to tell him, like, dude. What are you talking? Because he bans people who tells him that. If you saw the video that <laughs> when he was watching that really good video explaining yep. how rollback netcode works, uh -huh. as soon as as uh, Tony Cannon started like describing kind of like how it works as he designed it, he paused the video, yelled at him for ten <laughs> minutes, and then skipped the video, the rest of yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got a really good you got a really good explanation of what rollback was, and I believe that all kind of played out. Because that was when yeah. I kind of got my explanation. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I kind of gathered that's what it was, but it was good to hear it. Great. Understood. Then you hear, you know, from the actual guy and like Pop says, yeah, it's it, it pause, excuses come out, yell, 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 on to the next thing. 
unbelievable. <laughs> He says, like, Dom Cannon says something like, all right, so what rollback Neko does and feel like, see, see, that's what mm-hmm. it is. It's guessing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not, ha- that, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> that's not what happened at all. <laughs> yeah, he got, and he's been hurt by this for 12 years. 12 years. He was the only one on SRK Threat. I know he says it's deleted, but it's not. We checked it. He's the only one that has these problems with net, uh, rollback netcode, and people say he's stupid fucking then, and he still digs in. Because I know when people say something against him, that makes him dig in harder. All right, this is definitely my stance now, and it's held it for 12 years since then. And everyone says he's crazy. It does not matter. And he has so many followers, you know, the real DSP fans that will believe whatever he says. What he says can't be wrong, because if what DSP is saying is wrong, then I'm wrong, and then I'm stupid. So you can never think that. And that's why he has those people still donating to this day, I think. You know? you know, you know what's funny is he's got you've got two separate things that are completely independent of each other, where he says that everybody but me endorses this shitty product, right? And, or it's like this like <laughs> thing where I'm the outsider and everybody else is like in on this thing. One of them is rollback netcode, and the other one is that FGC OS shit that nobody uses. That like yeah, Arturo yeah. Sanchez thing. Yeah. They're like when okay, as like a a, a rational person, you would see this guy. He's like, okay, so rollback netcode's like this giant scam and everybody's in on it except for like me. I'm telling you how it is. And then he does that for like a completely different thing. Both <laughs> of these are so like in terms of like likelihood because they're both basically conspiracy theories. It's like one conspiracy theory that's already out there, dude. Now we got two independent conspiracy theories that you're like, oh yeah, I'm like here to tell you how to, it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. You're like insane, man. <laughs> I like how you said all the good best players are teaming up because they don't want to like something to get out and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me just slander the entire FGC fucking like group of people, including content creators, you know? My like associates by the fact that we're both on YouTube. Like, bro, you just randomly love talking shit about people for no reason, huh? That's cool. Thanks. And he's uh, okay. Uh, another way you know what he's saying is b- bullshit. Doom aside, thank you. He says delay based netcode is better. No one on earth thinks delay based netcode is better. No one, except for DSP, because it's not rollback and not Cannon Brothers didn't make it. So that means it's automatically better. It's the it's, best thing is if you <laughs> played delay based netcode right now in current year, the amount of bitching that we would see is, is like that. That's the thing that gets me because, like, like he, he and he, the thing is, I don't know if he, he doesn't outright say delay base is better. I don't think he does. I no, think what he, he says say, yeah. it, like, like okay. Well, I think what he's meaning is that there's a third option that hasn't been invented yet, but it definitely is out there. Also, I'm not going to do any work to find it, but it does exist. And the fact that rollback exists prevents people from looking for it. I think that's like the point that he's trying to make. He's, ah, okay. he's saying that. People have accepted rollback netcode as like the savior of fighting games. And so there are no, it's like, uh, it's like that thing where they say that creativity get is stunted because people are like content with what they have. It's like, it's like, he's trying to make this big thing, like human being, he hasn't done this, but this is effectively what he's doing to paraphrase. He's like, you know, human beings are like, we're always trying to find the next best thing, but people have accepted rollback netcode as the best thing. So they'll never find the actual best. It's like, bro, like he's, he. He doesn't understand that, like, the physical limitations of communication, like, in this universe that we live in, right? (laughs) He thinks that things can actually be instant, like quantum entanglement shit. Like, you're (laughs) fucking, you're so dumb, man. (laughs) God damn, you're dumb. Yeah. Anyways, uh, it's just it, it, this netcode thing, and he's still on it because he's got to play his fucking Street Fighter because he does love Street Fighter, even though much he looks like he hates it when he plays it. He does love it, and we do have to talk pizza beats. We've had you. This is the first time I've had you on since you went against Dark Side Phil. Yeah. So I want to get your take on that as it happened because let's get real. No matter, I know you don't care if you win or lose. Like it wasn't the biggest deal. Your life is not affected either way. But you knew a lot of people were going to see you watch it. Did that your heart rate go up a little bit? That because you knew everyone's going to fucking see it. You know what I'm saying? See what when you when you when you played DSP and and oh you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh yeah oh yeah yeah when we when I yeah yeah yeah. Because, like, I know yeah. you don't care if it's, I mean, honestly, you don't care, but I mean, that you like, fuck, man, you want to win, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, I would feel like, shit, I gotta fucking win this, you know? Like, a lot of weight is on this match, even though it is meaningless, but. No, no, the, the, the thing is that learning fighting games in general, 
has like taught me a lot about myself i feel like um mm -hmm. this, this was like a this has been a fun experience so far because like one thing is that no matter for me at least like i guess i'm like internally i'm pretty competitive yeah. even though i don't describe myself like that but it's like when i'm playing a fighting game even if it's like a casual match like if i'm like okay i'm not going to be sweaty i'm going to practice anti-airs or something the thing is like when i'm playing against another person at that point i'm like i just want to i like i do want to win you have to you have i have to fight really hard to suppress that instinct to practice shit because eventually you're just like yeah i just want to beat them and like the same would be true for like dsp and like the advantage for me i guess is that you know i i haven't played fighting games before so it's like I have a built in like, oh, yeah, I'm a scrub, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. But what what I came to find is like each time I played him, I got a little bit further along until I finally beat him. Right. And mm -hmm. so like in a way I used I use a couple things as a measurement of how much better like or how much improvement I'm getting. And like when that was like kind of like a measuring stick too, in terms of like, OK, I'm like, you know, first he was just like four owing me basically and then i'd like i'd take a round but he'd still like two owe me on the set and then like i'd take a game but then he'd take the set like that type of shit until i mm -hmm. beat him so yeah yeah so that's effectively how i used playing dsp i guess in a way <laughs> it has to be fun to hear the excuses being said about things you are doing too like that's oh yeah be yeah pretty dude, fun. <laughs> I, I i mean the thing is he he never went particularly hard on me because i don't think i've ever like beat him super duper hard other than like when i just started throw looping his ass and then he'd just be like oh cammy's throw range is long which is completely wrong it's the same as every other character except funnily enough blanca has a longer throw range than most characters but it might be because he's a fat fuck so like that's that's like one of those things that's a that's it, it's he always has to have some kind of excuse. Sometimes they're way more out there than others, but he always have, has to have some excuse. That's always been the constant across the board. And the thing is, now that he's playing Call of Duty, and I might restream that when I get a chance, is like, because um, I like restreamed when he played the other Call of Duty, however long ago that was, like a fucking year ago or whatever. And um, yeah. it's yeah. the same type of shit, right? It's, uh, it's, it's funny. Like, if he went like Call of Duty Street Fighter, it would just be a full day of excuses, basically. <laughs> you know, like a yeah. big chock, chock full of excuses. <laughs> yeah, you only restream the good stuff, but you know the excuses are coming. You do it right, oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> you don't, yeah. with the fishing and stuff, you must have been in hell. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The fishing stuff is its own. I don't know. The I guess the funny thing about restreaming DSP is you're you're going to be in hell no matter what. It's just what circle of hell you're going to be in, and it's always kind of a good time, so it's whatever. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, other stuff to talk about today. Uh, we have to talk. Well, obviously, we mentioned it this week, but the two the YouTube payment is late, everybody. Oh, what oh, the just fuck? quickly, sorry. dude. Again. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. What I got? Just quickly okay. before we get off Street Fighter, we've got to yes. hear this clip. Um, Please. This is this was recommended to me on Twitter, so we need to hear this. Here we go. go. I can't win. Here, fuck this. I need a break because this thing's a piece of shit, and I'm gonna punch Whoa. the fuck out of my joystick because I'm so heated. Because <laughs> the game sucks tonight. Oh my God. The game I fucking sucks tonight. I have to work so fucking hard to do basic shit, and it pisses me off. It makes me angry. It does. So I need to cool down now because I'm really upset. But it's such nonsense. It's fucking nonsense. There we go. <laughs> Philip, you're doing it again. That's mm -hmm. what Cat would need to be saying. Philip, do you need to do kiss first because you're getting too upset again? Not that she's there. Anyway. I, I hope the people who donate to him like <laughs> see that and they're like, that's where your money goes. It goes into him hitting his hardware like a yep. fucking caveman. That's that he that spent there. how much time just making you understand that he needs it? For... And he used it for Mortal Kombat, the game that he hates, and he bought Street Fighter again. And not only did he buy Street Fighter again, he, like, you know, f had to buy fucking costumes and shit for Street Fighter again. And he, oh my god, this dude's so dumb. It's so <laughs> great. I'm so, I'm, it's, it feels so good to know that no matter how much money these fucking dents give him, it'll always literally go into a flaming garbage can. I love yep. it so much. Keeps yep. the economy turning, etc. <laughs> And also, let's not forget, uh, he had enough money, though. Okay, intense you, YouTube payments late, all right? So, Meerkat, as a YouTube pr creator, how late can the payment be in your in your history of YouTube? If the payment comes on a weekend, how late is it possibly? could it possibly be for you, Meerkat uh, Bob? I do think it might be a little bit different in Europe and in the U.S., so I can't give you a definitive answer. But if it's supposed to be on a Sunday, then it comes on a Monday. Mm. Or YouTube has a a five day 
you know, uh, window style. Uh, yeah, window. a five day yeah. window in which it okay. has to be paid in like working days. Mm -hmm. So after those five days, there might be an error. There might be something wrong going on, but they have their right to five days. So he should consider this when, you know, saving up for two big bills, for example. How long has this thing been going on? This YouTube bag? It's incredible. Mm. And that shows you that if you listen to DSP, you're not an old person. If you, you, you watch DSP and give him money, because like, come on, guys, this is amazing. How many years have we been doing this? And it's a, something that where he still gets the full amount. Nothing is changing in terms of amount. It's the, like the weakest scam ever, but it works, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think, I think, I think with, I think with them, like I, sometimes I try to think about, okay, you look at like a working person, like Haseo, who yeah. works at like an airport or something and gives them a lot of money. And I'm like, okay, so you have a job, they pay you every other Friday or whatever the fuck it is. And so like, you know, the only thing that makes sense to me when you're talking about like a, like a dent like him is that like. Because he, cause he should be able to call that shit out, right? Because he gets a paycheck every two weeks. And he yeah. should be like, yeah, well, you know, like, I'm not I'm not literal paycheck to paycheck unless he is. Unless he gives all of his money to fucking DSP and hentai and whatever the fuck else. D degenerate shitty buys. But, like, all, all I can think of, DSP's weapon is obfuscation of the amount, right? So uh -huh. In terms of the YouTube payment. So, like, they don't know what his, like... CPM is for the for the, his fucking ads and like super chats he doesn't put the total amount on and they don't go they don't go check you know that type of thing and so they're just like well if his payment's late how's he gonna pay his bills and he's like an adult he's like more of an adult than I it's, funnily enough his dents are more adults than him because they have actual fucking jobs and they don't beg people for money most of them are <laughs> and so like you know they they just go like okay well this guy I don't understand how your lifestyle works dave all i know is you'll never tell a lie and here's 50 dollars tip thank you that type of shit <laughs> that's what it's... i think has been like particularly uh presumably pretty successful about this 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 time that he's been doing it this uh you know talking about when he's going to get his youtube payment because we we said the other day that he he seems to have started it unusually early mm -hmm. like you know two weeks in advance or something but yeah, you know, yeah, you've yeah. got to imagine that that's probably quite effective because by the time it actually comes to it, he's already had like two weeks worth of of, of talking about it. And by the time it gets to it, it's like, you know, you, 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 you've forgotten the details. You know, it's, it's like it's obfuscated, I guess, behind kind of, you know, two weeks worth of bullshit. So it doesn't really... You know, you, at that, at that yeah. point, you're just like, okay, yeah, whatever. It's, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah exactly. Feel. That that's yeah. The, the, it's it's a war of attrition with this guy, especially if you watch his fucking pre-stream shit because it's just you get you get bombarded by this like psionic energy that's like melting your fucking brain all the time and then eventually just go like yeah you know what okay sure man mm -hmm. whatever it takes to make you stop talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whatever it takes and, and then he has then he flexes okay so he starts this youtube bag bag thing early begging about the tube the, the youtube payment being late i think that was after a few slow days like he had that really slow night so i think maybe that triggered him like you know what i'm gonna go back to the classics time to break out this strategy again then he does that has a fine tips day or whatever day off comes he comes back yeah we had fucking crabs that day guys but by the way my oh, youtube yeah. payment is late okay it is late we had some crabs, crab boil, a seafood boiling restaurant. That's what he said. Seafood a seafood boiling, boiling restaurant. Oh my God. <laughs> and, then, and then he was like wearing some some like shirt, some brown shirt, and then he spent three minutes talking about his brown shirt. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like I just want to fucking die, man. I really do. I didn't hear him talking about the shirt. Like I, I saw it and saw someone someone on Reddit said he looked like I don't know someone from the like the past basically that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a peasant yeah that do. Yeah, he looked yeah, like basically. a medieval peasant that was, that was amazing <laughs> yeah he's trying to get in his begging uh dr garb so that's what he's doing <laughs> that for <laughs> his true begging garb but yeah so he took cat out oh he made sure we knew cat was with him though cat this cat that cat went out the first he did say this the first time in months they went out together during his day off in months how much do they not like each other? To not do something together in months. This is a married couple, by the way. In Dude. months. And he works from like... home. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's on this... a business trip. Very good. 
I, I would never understand why he goes out of his way to admit those things and then get super salty that people are actually listening and bringing up the inconsistencies and mm -hmm. raising questions about it. That's a great <laughs> point. <laughs> It's fucking like, especially with a crab thing, because I watched a couple of uh, segments of him begging about last week, two big bills and everything. He was really heartbroken that he had to beg. And then he comes back and he's talking about like a Disney princess adventure that he went on and he was eating fucking crabs. <laughs> <laughs> he's eating crabs and it was like, oh, I don't like to get all messy. Uh, I hate to get messy. And he's talking about how he doesn't like seafood boil because you get messy. But then he went to seafood boil, but they got the shrimp. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, yeah. that bad, guys. It wasn't that bad. He said it was at the he restaurant, got... so it's okay. They have to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> yeah. Yeah, he went into detail about how they've, like, they, they got you. It's fine. They've got, like, this <laughs> plastic covering everything. And, uh, like, yeah. They, they give yeah, me, they like, gave mountains me a bib. napkins and bib. Yeah, he's a bib. Yeah, got the bib. Oh, God. If anyone has a picture of the bib, I will pay for it. <laughs> We can get that bib picture. <laughs> Somebody yeah, had a good point, by the way. Oh, go ahead, oh, go ahead, Sam. Go ahead. It, it <laughs> may have been the same thing. Cracker Jack yeah. says, what was the point of having the same day off then? Which is a great point. Like, you know, it, it sounds like they always, they, they share a day off and he, he schedules his, his working week, essentially, if you can call it that, around the fact that she's off on whatever day it is. And yet when he comes to it, most of the time, it's like, yeah, Cat was playing Skyrim or Starfield or whatever the game is, and it's like, okay. The best is when he when the, he's getting cucked by another streamer for several hours. They're both watching another person <laughs> play Starfield. It's like, you know, I yeah. can play Starfield, honey, and you can watch me play. Uh, you know, oh I, mm, I don't know, Dave. <laughs> that keeps coming up nowadays. Yeah, because uh -huh. he spent so many t so many times. He's you've heard him say, "I don't watch other content creators," and and you know, sentences of the like. Yet yeah, nowadays it seems like every day after watching someone playing a game that he is also playing. So uh -huh. what, what the fuck? Cat's what not wasting that? time with DSP content. She's watching hot dudes play games. Yeah. So I don't blame her. Um, imagine, <laughs> imagine watching DSP content. Just imagine. <laughs> yeah, she's watching Snake Eyes play Street Fighter, not it's Phil Snake Burnell. Eyes. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, I know. Him. Hey, honey, I played him before too. Oh yeah. Wow. How'd you do? I beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I yeah, begged for I begged in fear. I ran away. Don't do it to me, Snake Eyes. <laughs> That's yeah, really this, cool. Uh, <laughs> this day off, apparently, they also watched the June the King documentary because those yeah. things have a lot of prestige now, I guess, on uh, Boogie. <laughs> and right. then DSP was very, uh, you know, he was very disappointed in his former friend, I guess, because you know they had some arrangement to have a an interview together. And mm -hmm. he was happy that he didn't get into business with that guy because, man, that guy is toxic. He was mean to him on Twitter, maybe. I don't know. So people have told me he's mean to me on Twitter, despite the fact that. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I can I can literally <laughs> recall everything that he's done to me, like <laughs> and the time and the date. But, you know, I'm not sure. People have yeah. told me, you know, I don't get involved in drama shit. I, I don't take time on drama, guys. I'm not going to get into that here. But this super chat here, I have to address this, okay, for the next 14 minutes, okay? So I'm not doing drama here. We're done with it. By the way, uh, LTG, you're my bitch forever, okay? We don't do drama here. Positive. Positive content. Uh, yeah, but anyways, let's, yeah. uh, let's take a detour <laughs> yeah, for some uh, contributions so we can... Yes, yes, sorry about that. Uh, I need to we get can the give them respect. Shout out to big Andrew, 13 months. Big ups to Dominic for five uh, gifts, dude. Uh, shout out to Era for the two... Uh, based on his inputs, I'm convinced he wears mittens. Could be. So, yeah. Well, that's the <laughs> Salvano thumb, you know? That's basically mittens. Combined with eczema. Tough combination. Oh, no, eczema, yes. <laughs> uh, shout out to Cyclops86, who says, Phil admits to using a pattern. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've seen many people actually break down his pattern, especially with Blanca. If I cared more about Street Fighter, I would know more about it, but I have not, no idea. That's another thing he says, by know. the way. Every, everyone uses a pattern in some capacity when you're playing Street Fighter, right, Peace Peace? I mean, that's yeah. how you play. You know, like, yeah. okay, I'm and, doing yeah, this. And, and, yeah. like, and, and flow charts. <laughs> like, okay, when he describes flow charts, like, it's it's basically like this, right? You, you, you like, fundamentally, and this is why I, I love fighting games so much, and by fighting games, I mean Street Fighter, the only fighting game I've really played, <laughs> is that, like, when you break it down, it's very, like, it's very kind of, like, methodical. You know, you both start at 
in this position where you can't fucking hit each other. So that means somebody or both of you have to close distance or like do something. You have to move mm-hmm. in such a way that you can engage each other, right? And so then there's like some decision making there. And then there's a point where you're close enough where you can hit each other and you you do combos, right? And the combo you do is based on the type of hit you get. So hitting them with a heavy attack does something. Hitting them with a medium attack does something. Hitting them yeah, with a yeah. light attack does something, right? And so like when like let's say dsp is playing blanc and he does that up ball which is a reversal and has like a huge punish if you whiff it which he does a lot and then you there's a depending on the character you play there's a flow chart or a pattern that you do to punish the shit out of it and deal like 40 percent damage i think when he's talking like he uses ken as an example because he fucking hates ken yeah i mean i forever. fucking hate ken but everyone <laughs> fucking hates ken so like with ken there's a couple moves he can do like dragon lash where he like kind of flies at you and kicks you really hard and um i think what dsp's complaining about is that when you when they dragon lash you depending on the which one they use you can deal with it a certain way and he's like yeah i'm trying to deal with it in the way that i know is correct but because of like rollback net coder or something it makes me not deal with it the thing is that he doesn't know how to deal with it he doesn't lab anything he pretends he knows how to deal with it and when the last stream i did like I went in, I downloaded his fucking replays and I watched his fucking inputs and they were incorrect for what he was trying to do. Ultimately, he's not putting the buttons incorrectly. So like, (laughs) it's like so fucking annoying because when you play these games and you fuck up the buttons, you go like, holy shit, I need to clean up my like button pressing, right? But for him, it's just, he just (laughs) goes down this like, it's, why does he take such a difficult path? to get to like a weird conclusion when the answer is just so much simpler, right? It's like he's he's torturing himself basically by yep. like, he's like talking for like 20 minutes about something that doesn't exist instead of being like, you know, maybe I gotta clean up my buttons. Maybe I just gotta oh, do that. Can't say that, can't say no. that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of rambled. It, it, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. I think Steve mentioned it like, like it, essentially it, it, the whole game is like pattern play. You're memorizing these combinations of button presses to the point where I guess, Thinking about it, it's kind of like a rhythm game, except, you know, you need to do these things at the right time instead of being shown what to press at the right time yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I guess, because I'm not a fighting game guy by any means. No, I think that's yeah. a, I think that's actually, I think that's pretty apt, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And well, he yeah, also it, says, like, this is guessing. That's, that's a part of every fucking competition on fucking Earth is guessing. Yeah. If you're playing chess, yeah. you might guess. I'm, this, part, this person might do this move against me. So yeah. I have to guess. I might not be right, but I'm going to guess it using my knowledge of the game, what's going on to this point. He always says that. Oh, okay, guess. Okay, there's the guess. All this from yeah. guessing. Yeah? He yeah. guessed correctly. Imagine like a sports team saying, you know, like American football. We're guessing pass here, so we're gonna, you know, put our defense, our, our a secondary back more. Look at that! All from a guess. They got an interception. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what? You know, that's part of the game, right? <laughs> it just uh, goes no. back to that that thing where it just kind of <laughs> reminds me of, um, like, you know, playing online games a while back, where it was like. You know, people getting annoyed at you, where it just to the point where it's like it just sounds like they want you to just run out and let you kill them. Like you know, that, that's that's what it seems like to me. He's just annoyed that they're not letting him win at the end of the day. Uh, that kind of that's kind of how it comes across to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's entitlement. <laughs> It, ultimately, it always falls because he uses words like the game won't let me blah. The game doesn't agree with me like that type of thing. Like they're sentient beings, right? Yeah, he does mm-hmm. shit like that all the time. And that's his, that's his kind of like, I don't know, man. I'm not a psychologist. <laughs> if Steve was here. He can probably answer this better. But it's like it feels like this thing where I mean, you see kids do this, right? Where oh, yeah, they they, they feel like the reason that something bad happened to them is because you know there's just forces in the world acting against you and it's not fair the world's not fair why is this bad thing happening to me that type of shit and he's just carried that his entire life into his fucking middle age dude it's fucking terrible yeah no one snapped out of he never snapped out of the time where you have to be in control of your life you know and he says he is. He'll tell you he's very control of his life, making all these decisions. But he can't make any decision without what? What do you want, chat? I need your feedback. Come on, engage with me. Give me that feedback. Come on. Why is no one talking in chat? Come on, guys. What game yeah. do you want to play? What do we want to do? This. It's just all about taking the responsibility out of his own life, putting it into someone else. You know, and that's how he goes for everything: money, yeah. his payments, his work. It's all about getting other people 
to do the things for him. And like Steven said before, narcissists will work extremely hard to not have the blame be on themselves, right? They'll put more work than anyone else normal humans do to make sure the blame is not on themselves. And that's the world he's created, you know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, there's, um, I, I never brought this up. I just remembered it too. So it, like the, either the first time or the second time I beat him, right? At the end of the stream, so like the end stream segment after like he finished or whatever, maybe it was during the daily wrap. He said something like, um, oh, pe you know, people were telling me like I've, I played trolls or you know detractors or whatever and it's like um it's like that's fine dude like you know anyone's welcome to play you know we just have a good game of street fighter and i thought to myself at that point i'm like that's like a pretty cool thing to say like like this is the this is probably the one time in my, the entire time i've ever listened to dsp that i thought to myself like you know this is like kind of charming like this is like a charming <laughs> personality this this one phrase that he said and then he immediately followed it up by complaining about something in the game, something else like netcode or some shit like that. <laughs> I thought, bro, like you, you have like I, for a brief second, I saw like the spark of humanity and then it just like faded away. And I'm just like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck is happening here? It was, it was such a weird fucking experience because I've never s experienced that before. I haven't experienced it since, but I'm like, this guy maybe could not be a piece of shit if he worked really hard but it's like he can't he, it's he's it's just too far gone it's it's completely it's like it's like when you watch like a possession movie and you know they start normal and then they slowly become all fucked up over time and it's like he's like at the, he's at the end of the movie already basically <laughs> so uh, basically time for an exorcism yes, yes. oh exactly. and something that uh, his wife has has uh, some experience with that's not a joke I wish it was a joke, but it's not a joke. <laughs> um, big ups to Brotherhood of Steelman real quick. Says DSP. DSP is saying this. It's not my fault. There's no more life. <laughs> there's no more life manual. Oh, there's no more life manual or guide. It's all the trolls' fault, dude. And stop talking about me. You can eat my turds. Yep, that's a typical eat turds out of my asshole. Turds are coming out of my asshole. Very funny. Extremely funny. I run the house. Says he hates bone-in shelled food. So why crab? I think Cat wanted this, I guess. I think Divorce Coin did take a hit this week because that's true. Why would he go there? I don't think Phil is choosing boiled seafood, right? I don't think that. Mm. So people that might think that Cat was put down the garbage disposal, mm, take a back seat this uh, week. Cause it but did he like really he go there? there? Great point. You know, did he, Great point. Is he, does, he just, does he know that that was something she liked You know, before she... <laughs> Before she passed. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before the ants got a hold of her. <laughs> Sorry, that's just that's that really is a conspiracy theory. Sorry. I, I have no stake in team health or team whatever. <laughs> okay. T big ups to Stored Exchange, by the way. Get your Steve coin. Steve coin is still for sale, so go get your Steve coin. Uh Jason Moore in the house says, All these excuses are because of detractor videos. hundred percent proof Dave watches your videos. Good job, guys. Well, yeah, he, I mean, I don't know if it's our videos, but he watches everybody, and he'll talk about it at the start of every fucking stream. Like, here's what's funny. Here's what my trolls are saying now, guys. By the way, no, we're not going to mention trolls here. We're all positive tonight, guys. But here's what the trolls are saying, guys. It's ridiculous. Mm. It's just, okay. I'm sure I, I don't okay. think he watches the whole videos. I think he mainly just sees the, the thumbnails and the titles, which is enough to get him pissed off, and the rest mm. uh, of the info gets fed to him by the flying monkeys. Oh, maybe it's like just Twitter, right? Says, like yeah, he yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah it's like yeah like that's his he looks at these like short he just looks at the title and the thumbnail it's like basically a twitter post perfect all right <laughs> yeah classic Dude, if you looked at duty video titles he'd be like he'd be like holy shit like <laughs> my wife's leaving me my house is on fire and all this like shit's happening like he should watch these fucking videos i think just extrapolate <laughs> yeah. a little more he would go, the the descent into madness would go faster if he goes off duty titles for sure. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> ants are carrying away my couch. What? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, they're literally carrying away my fucking couch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, big up and also um, what was I gonna say about the no boiling restaurant? We hit on that. Nothing else for the boiling seafood restaurant. Uh, they did. Oh, they went to Halloween shopping by the way. This yep. great Halloween shopping. Uh, and uh, Phil said it was a breath of fresh air because he could choose whatever kind of costume he wanted. All right. So there was no poll or anything. And he felt it was really refreshing, guys. He could go shopping and get whatever he wants. They went to two different stores. Oh, great. They didn't, de they didn't decide anything yet, but he went to two different stores and it was a costume breath of fresh store. air. <laughs> that was That's great. Having agency and actually making a decision for yourself is is a breath of fresh air. That's uh, yeah, right. the one time he's choosing something by himself, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a breath God. of fresh air, dude. <laughs> what can we learn from this, Phil? <laughs> mm. Oh, come on. I learned I think... pull next time. <laughs> My prediction is that the Halloween stream is going to happen. He's going to be wearing something really generic and, and uninspired, and he's going to complain that uh, people don't like it because, you know, he didn't know what to get. You guys didn't tell him because he had full freedom. So he picked something oh, stupid. God. Oh, I, God. That would be really funny. I want it to be Blanca really badly, but yes. he won't. He can't. He can't go that low for himself. You know, he can't. I mean, we. You know, like Ken anyway, was pretty bad. <laughs> Karen <laughs> Masters was very bad, but he thought that was cool. Like in his mind, he thought that was fucking cool. I guarantee it. So Blanca, like he'd have to be too much of an idiot for it. So like, yeah, he's not doing body paint. I don't know how he gets away from doing something Street Fighter though. He should do Street Fighter again, but you know, he's gonna do some fucking lame like he always does. Any guesses Who is- though? <laughs> uh, who is the most generic male Street Fighter character? Luke, like, maybe? Yeah, Luke might work. Luke oh, is yeah, like a vest, you know? Yeah, and he'll put like a backwards, like, he'll he'll put his Los Santos hat on backwards. Be like, <laughs> hey, every, hey, kids, it's time to go to Memphis. <laughs> I know about memes. <laughs> it's me, hello. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say yeah. Kyle as well. Like, I'm assuming you can probably get one of those weird, like, like the the weird hair that he has as as like just some piece of plastic oh or something. I hope he does. I, I hope he does, Guile. You, you've got to imagine <laughs> that this year he's going to try and not do something embarrassing because no, the percentage of like like problematic costumes or you know that mm. the the weird like the Bob Ross uh, the Bob Ross was okay I guess. Like what about it was fucking Cookie Monster. But the, the, I mean, that's just cringe, you know. I, I yeah. think it's going to be on the the lines along the lines of that, or um, yeah. the what's the Mario thing he did as well, the uh, the green whatever that is. Uh, oh, the Yoshi, the, Yoshi, Turtle yeah. Yoshi. Oh, it's so a cringe, cringe, but mainstreamish cringe. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> okay. I think it'd be cringe this year. Oh uh, yeah, like, like basic surely. bitch shit. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, like like surely. the male costume equivalent of like of like sexy nurse or like sexy devil or something that like, yeah a sexy cat might wear yeah a cat yeah. you know that kind of random nonsense yeah that's what he's gonna do what, what's like the hype costumes right like, we should like see like of course he goes to stores by the way when like it's like it goes to two stores and remember he says he's so busy oh my god guys we did so much shit yesterday it's incredible you're choosing to go to two halloween stores and not buying anything Great way to spend your time, you know? And the one fucking time in the months your wife decides to go with you. But okay. Really cool you time use you time usage of your time for sure. Uh big ups to the pasta maker says his cod excuses are as bad as the Street Fighter Six ones. Complaining about enemies pre aiming a hallway. <laughs> pre aiming. <laughs> no, Phil, aiming. they're aiming down the hallway. A clear advantage. They're looking at where you're coming from. So big ups there, the pasta maker. Pre aiming a hallway. That's the guess, right? I mean, like it's it's right. Like if you're in an FPS, it's like if I if, if I'm if I'm playing Counter Strike and I'm like you know I can watch double doors, I can or I can watch catwalk, and you're watching the wrong one, and you you don't know where they're coming from because they're walking, so there's no sound. <laughs> then you pick the right one, you pick the wrong one, and you go fuck. He killed me based on a guess. I guessed wrong. It's like yeah, yes you did. <laughs> All right, next. Big ups, Aid Robertson says. Big ups, TBS and piece of piece from Aid and Becca. Legends, legends in the house. Hey, big ups, so much big ups. Money. All legends. Um, so what else was there? So we have the they took it out. The costume is done. We didn't talk about it too much, but um, he wants his news now. DSP wants his news clipped. Everybody. So you love the podcast, right? You love it. You love this stuff, but he want to clip it. All right. So I want to clip it. Can I do it? No. Okay. Can I pay for it? No. But no. you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you refer to this as like he wants his takes? to be like out there or something yeah uh, <laughs> does he have takes is take something that he has well i mean none of them are original or his own but he spins them in a very signature dsp delusional and demented fashion and basically all he wants to do is just be like joe rogan or any other successful podcast that uploads clips and have people take him seriously as a podcaster, but this is never going to happen because he's not serious, and his podcast isn't a serious or real podcast. So uh, good luck with that. I'm I'm hoping to see this thing actually happen. So I yeah. I, I want to see him promote these clips and be like, oh, you guys, I had a great uh, a great take on this upcoming video game, and I I just want to see it, man. 
And okay, so most people might, you know, when you want to do this, they would do it themselves. Number one, he's not doing that because he has no time, and he went through his whole fucking schedule of what he does. He goes, "I'm uploading." Uh, I'm wow. I'm in here like six hours a day, okay? And then I gotta upload. I gotta babysit the uploads. I have no time to myself. I hope that you know. I guess he keeps saying this. Uh, went to two ho Halloween rest uh, Halloween stores Spent for no reason. Spent two hours watching another streamer <laughs> play Starfield. <laughs> yes. oh, wow. Spent time with his wife watching boogie documentaries. Which I mean, spending time with your wife if that's what you want to do, cool. But let's not forget about all this other stuff you're doing that you could don't have to be doing. And let's not even get started on the daily wrap. All right. So, anyways, no time, no time. And then he's threatens his audience by saying this um you know i might if if i really want to do this i might have to stream less guys so i can get oh, these clips oh, out oh my god okay so just so you guys know if someone doesn't do this he didn't say it directly but this is what he's implying is that if i don't get anyone to help me i might have to stream less to make this happen right guys so you know yeah, and he also said i put effort into getting these stories That's no you direct quote don't. direct <laughs> quote <laughs> yeah Direct Get quote. Tw Twitter front page. Oh my god. <laughs> so much effort. I put effort into getting these stories. Hmm. You don't even you don't even like screen cap them or like copy and paste them into your notes or whatever. <laughs> it's it's literally looking at Twitter. Like that's pretty on his much phone me. while he pulls out his phone, says, All right, we got <laughs> all right guys, we got some gaming news. Um <laughs> oh, the CEO of EA is an asshole. I agree with this one. It's like, bro, fuck you fuck off, man. It I, I Every time as well, it's something negative. I've been meaning to go through, while it's still a relatively new thing, this DSP news thing. You know, I don't know, it's uh -huh. only been a couple of weeks, isn't it? I wanted to, I wanted to see what the news stories were and you know, collate them and see because it's it's always something negative. Like, not surely nine times out of ten, it's never like there's something coming out and I'm really excited about it. You know, like, oh, have you heard? Like, there's this is really cool thing happening. It's always, yeah, someone's been an idiot and, and I, you know, and, and I've been yeah. telling you guys this for years and all this sort of stuff. It's just... Oh, yeah, that's right. And he, oh, he's so happy when people lose their jobs, right? That's yeah. the dream. The dream, dream news thing. It's like, all right, EA is, is laying off 100 people. See? That's what I was saying. They fuck up in this game. That's what's going to happen. That's like his dream conversation is how people got lost their jobs, right? Oh, there we go. That's what I was saying. They get their heads out of their asses. It's uh, it's amazing. Everything is negative, and that's his dream talk about because he could say like how I do it better. And listen, guys, I used to do stupid shit too, but I've changed. Okay, so tip, please. Okay, yeah, now, guys. <laughs> if they had the, listened the to Phil, just, they would yeah. never be in this place to begin with. <laughs> I told you so, you guys. The thing is, half the time he doesn't offer a solution to the problem. He, but, <laughs> I mean, it's like you don't have to offer solutions to problems, but when you criticize them as much as you do, you kind of got to like at least give a little something like, oh, here's what they should do. And the, and the other half of the time when he does offer a solution, it's completely unrealistic. It's like he thinks that <laughs> yeah. he thinks that companies have infinite resources, just like how communication can be instantaneous. It's the same shit. He, like, like, he doesn't understand how reality works, I guess, ultimately. Uh, no. <laughs> and, like, how, like, I, he's completely, like, he has no idea what he's competing with as well. Like, what does he think, you know, does he think, if, oh, you just clip this bit and stick it on YouTube and that's going to get you instant views? Like, if if that's what you want, like, you, you want to be this, like, gaming news guy, then you're competing with, like, I don't know, like, Yong Yer and, like spawn wave and these people who put in like they'll you know they'll they'll bring up three news stories or whatever and and actually put you know the article on screen and gameplay and you know whatever else you know and it, it, there's just no comparison like <laughs> no you no you, you what you get to do as a viewer is you get to stare at his dead fish eyes and watch him <laughs> watch him read off his phone so he's not even looking at you and then <laughs> yeah. give the most lame brain fucking take or just literally regurgitate info that you could have looked up in 10 seconds and he's taking 10 minutes to go through. And I'm going to tip you. Yes. And uh, by the way, here's the exact thing he said. So first of all, calling what he says takes is the first insane part. Here's the second <laughs> insane part. Uh, he wants to do this. It's from Pone's future f Twitter, of course. You all know that. It says, hey, Phil said, because he, because I feel that what I say should be heard by everyone. And not just the people right. that listen to the podcast. <laughs> Imagine thinking that. <laughs> what? 
I want people that don't just listen to the podcast to hear my amazing takes. Takes. Isn't that at that point? <laughs> isn't isn't he just kind of like admitting that the podcast is too long and there's you know there's plenty of people that aren't interested in it? You know, like, <laughs> yes. it totally is actually. That's absolutely what he's doing. <laughs> All right, now listen, now guys, the podcast now, is too long. Could you please cut out some of it and put it somewhere else so people can see it that don't normally see my my podcast? Thank he, you. Q and A. He's, <laughs> he's look. He, he's doing the equivalent of like you're you're in your car and like you're like and it's a little warm. You turn the AC on and then it's like you know it's a little cold now. Then you turn the heater on, but you leave <laughs> the AC on if it was possible that there were two separate heat pumps. And then it's like that's yeah, a little warm now. Then you turn the AC on more. He's like yeah. doing the equivalent of that. So instead of trimming the podcast down, you look for the fucking shit in this giant bloated mess of a podcast. Ah yes. <laughs> And by the way, and he said too, like, I can't find the timestamps and stuff. I can't Dude, I do can't that. Fuck you. I'm busy. I'm busy uploading. <laughs> I have to carry all these kilobits up this hill to the YouTube headquarters and put them in the well. So I'm busy doing that. Like well, somebody else is already doing that work for him. We got the, the AI timestamp guy yeah. who literally oh, yes. just prints the stamps Psycho. for the whole thing. All, all DSP got to do is just chop them up. That's right. That, he, needs to, yeah. he needs to answer the quizzes too. Like that guy, <laughs> that guy's giving him homework. He should answer oh, his own yeah. fucking quizzes, man. Those quizzes, man. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable, man. It's I can't. I, I, he, sorry, I can't get the fucking words. That <laughs> this he has literally nothing to do afterwards. He says he has to babysit uploads, but literally he's literally he's like dragging and dropping files from his hard drive onto YouTube, and that's it. There's nothing else that goes into it. Like, if he wants to make his life any easier, all he's got to do is just let the stream be, you know, live on YouTube afterwards instead of cutting it up into uh, segments like he does. Again, he's but, literally making it harder on himself so that he can yeah. do another thing to make it harder on himself and then add another thing on that. And it's like, it's funny because there are times where it literally goes full circle. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but it, it, it happens because, like, I remember thinking this to myself where it's like, I mean, if, if like a, a really basic example would be like the fucking stream capture shit where he used to mm -hmm. like point a camera at the TV and then he yeah. eventually like folded and, and does the thing now. But like yep. there's usually intermediate steps between the correct thing and and ultimately and the the funniest shit is anytime he finally reaches the, the correct conclusion after all these intermediate steps, after all this time, after all this money wasted and shit, he always goes like. Like he always talks about it like it's this big revelation when literally at the very beginning he should have done this and was told by I'm sure several fucking people I got banned that he should have done this. And then he pretends he came up with this idea and it's like you are an actual fucking psycho, dude. Oh, he'll he'll ride the way for months too. Like we switched to direct capture. He act he wanted praise for months. He was saying, like, all right, guys, I went to direct capture for you guys. It's a lot more work for me, by the way. It's really tough to do this direct capture. So please I hope you guys enjoy the streams. Blah blah blah. Uh Brad Bernie, by the way, great point. Remember how Phil's been pushing his curated audience shit so much? So why does he want more people to see it? I thought it's curated for a specific exactly. audience and a small audience. What's going on? What? Huh? Yeah. He's trying to like <laughs> drag the net wider to see if any more like suitable candidates uh, are, are out there somewhere. Yeah, you put a parasite in their brain. <laughs> <laughs> see if parasite. any weak minded people are there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a few more uh, contributions I should chat oh, out. Speaking here. of uh, yeah, ahead, weak minded, we have a, a voice clip in the Discord. Uh, the first one, Sam, that I said. Oh, yeah, please. Let's hear some weak minded stuff. Oh, of course. Love it. Yes. Yeah, uh, that was this one. You understand you have to segment. be weak-willed and weak-minded to have a groupthink belief that's not true. <laughs> you have to be weak-willed or weak-minded. Okay, Man, he's sure saying a lot of words. <laughs> I guess I'm weak-willed and weak-minded. Let's do Hold on. Let me get my rollback netcode ready. Hold on. Let me shake my dice. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Pattern you're play. Your joystick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, play the other one too though isn't there another one meerkat i think right uh yeah okay. yeah this was uh about something else yeah here we go original source the king of crybabies hd no <laughs> the original source is dsp gaming look <laughs> shout yeah, out to the king of crybabies <laughs> so the the context of this is dsp watching a compilation of his laughs and trying to debunk it scientifically and prove <laughs> people that he doesn't laugh ack 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 <laughs> But in fact, he laughs. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ha ha ha. That would also yeah. be weird, though. Yeah, no. 
that would be weird. actually ha 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 and like yeah that's the thing like he he go, he goes on so much about this ak 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 thing and like when you listen to it okay some t- like the k is not there but it's still like ah, 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 ah. and and yeah, yeah. like he's saying it's ha ha but it's not like there's no h there might not be a k but there's also no h so you still laugh weird man it's still fucking strange this, that's ah, his ah, coat ah, by ah, the ah, way ah. is i do laugh strange i know that I'm not denying that, but it's not ack, ack, ack. You know, that's what that's his cope there. It's like, it's not ack, but it's also, it's not ack, but it is weird, but it's not ack, you assholes. Stop having nuggets of truth, okay? Fuck yeah, yes. I guess semantics. <laughs> yeah, would it be okay if instead of ack, 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 people were making fun of him for saying ack, ack, ack? Or <laughs> yeah. the way he wants yeah, it to right. be? Like, it, like it's he a little hard to be making fun of his end. stupid laugh. <laughs> That's so true, Dead School. It is like Jimmy Carr's. It's not quite, it's not high pitched like Jimmy Carr's laugh, but um, yeah, it's that's that's another annoying laugh that's uh, notorious. And sorry, that's a UK reference, but yeah. God damn it! All right, that's the limit. We've hit our one UK reference. There we go. Uh, big ups to Commander Keen. Great game. It says Phil could easily prove himself right about netcode and lag by just going to a local tournament and seeing how well he does. Good jokes. Great, great joke contribution there because there was no way in hell Phil is stepping anywhere close to where you can actually play street fighter with another human being he has like a restraining order on places like a reverse restraining order i can't go near any place where you could play street fighter against other human beings because that would be a disaster he would say that the hardware is broken if it was local <laughs> hardware he would like he, he he talked he said he said the the issues that he experiences in street fighter are the equivalent of if he was on like p2 on a cabinet and the joystick didn't work and i'm like mm-hmm. dude dude th- that's like so different <laughs> like that's, that's <laughs> you must have experienced that before dave you went to arcades right those are completely different experiences yep and he did and he even then okay guys on SRK we've seen he bitches about the controls no matter where he plays and everyone knows it never makes fun of dsp for whining people called him uh dsp uh dark side whiner or whatever it was just everything is about whining and he did it no matter what he will find something to whine about there was always another excuse that is the DSP mantra. So it doesn't matter what happens. He would complain. Uh, when he yeah. played, we played yesterday. He went to the uh, Comic-Con and they had a fighting game there live. You could play against people. The title was too much lag, waste of time. And that's because he lost. So, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, the other Very person cool. had the same amount of lag, but kicked his ass. But yes, waste of time. Cool. Well, it's like you said before about um, recording his or, or watching back his inputs piece piece um like he would say about that like oh it just the game didn't record them correctly exactly. yeah uh-huh. he, said, yep. he, he said he says the and it's like it's like even the because and that's why you can't argue with him right because like the 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 core of his like the foundation of his argument is made up it's fabricated and so mm-hmm. when you're dealing with someone like that you you can't like argue with them logically because like because i'd be like no, that's not possible. That's not how rollback netcode works. Like, cause like at that point, it's it's the same thing. It, it's like to use a, something that you might be familiar with, Dave. It's like when you're recording a video while you're fucking streaming, and then you have like a recorded version that you fucking upload for some reason, and then you have the <laughs> live stream that you private, right? The yeah. <laughs> the the content's like the same. It's just coming out in like a different way. But the like recorded version is, if anything, it's more like pure or whatever. It's still like it got to the things to as long as your stupid joystick worked. Even if it was like delayed or whatever, it still got to the fucking place eventually and it got recorded correctly, even if it had to roll back the recording. So when you're rolling back, so when you're looking at the replay, that's the most true version that you're looking at. Like you're seeing it as it as it fucking ended up being anyway. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, they're they're wrong. Question. It's like, then put them up on the screen. No, I can't. I don't have like CPU power. And also, I'm really, really stupid. So I can't do that. And then it's like and of. Like most people normally they they'd stop arguing because you're you're basically shooting down every possible like solution to the problem and they're like, "You know what? Like I'm not going to argue it anymore either because now I'm looking like a stupid person because mm-hmm. I'm not like doing anything about it." But it's like, "No, he just keeps going and he just he the 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 talent he has, he he described one time that his talent is he can continue talking and then he like gave a really cringe example of that where he started wasting everyone's time. He started like 
like he does this thing where he's like oh yeah i can talk i can talk forever and i'm just gonna keep talking and look at me i'm like really good at talking i have really high charisma probably a 20 in charisma and, like he just did that for like three minutes like <laughs> i'm like number one that sounds really fucking annoying but like number two you're not good at that the thing you're good at is like saying words to a point where the person listening just doesn't want to listen anymore and they leave that's all you're <laughs> good at like you're not saying anything useful so oh god know. He'll just so spam so many. He just instead of spamming, you know, jab. He'll just spam words until yes. you have. All right, I'm tapping out. That's it. You got it. Yep. And it's funny to see how he, you know, he writes fucking paragraphs on every website he's ever interacted with. He will write the maximum. So like, but he'll put so much like shit in there. You don't. At the end, you're like, I don't know what he's even talking about anymore. Okay, I'm done. You know, and that's how. That's what he wants, I guess. Because you, if you dive deeper, just a second deeper, you're like, this guy's saying some insane shit. But yeah. he says so much other shit. You're like, all right, I'm checking out. Fuck it. Yeah. It's like in, it's like encrypted communication, right? You, you <laughs> yeah, gotta yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta decrypt what he's saying. Yeah, we need AI decryptor. Uh, big ups to Mario Faker says timely uh, op request Dead Space two for his marathon. Oh, I'm sure he would shoot that down. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it'd be fun. He would say, "Oh, this is a different time. Everyone loved this kind of humor back then." Fucking Howard mm. Stern. Anyways, <laughs> hate Ar <laughs> hate army in the house says he once said something was spamming bullets at him. Someone was spamming bullets at him during the fucking cod. <laughs> yeah, get, that's kind of the point. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah. He's he, he just wants you to stand there and let, let and let you let him kill him. No, and if he got killed, he'd be like, he wasn't aiming at me. It's just like a, a stray bullet, like hit me in the head. Like, dude, yeah. he wasn't dude. Like he didn't deserve to kill me. He was just like shooting in my general direction and he randomly got a headshot. It's like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, okay, man. <laughs> whatever you say. Cyclops 86 says, uh, Phil's all, always pre-firing cat divorce. Unfortunate. Yeah. Well, we never know. Logan K says his takes are already clipped by detractors done. Yeah, that's true too. But they're always the insane shit. He thinks he's saying like just deep insightful takes, but have you seen one? Cause I haven't. What, what's his takes? Like EA is bad or this person's bad. It, it's give me a take. That's like well thought out that actually would get clipped um, by mainstream. I, that's I love his political takes, which go that's as true. I just want people to be happy and yeah. politicians. They're just a bunch of fucking idiots. And uh, his day. gaming takes are are very, uh, very intelligent as well, such as they should make video games good and not <laughs> bad. Yeah, they used to make them good, but now they're, they, they're all about microtransactions and microtransactions are bad. And, you know, it's just this isn't interesting, man. And like no one's playing game that games that he doesn't like. No one plays. So, like, yeah, oh, no yeah. one's playing that. No one's talking about that anymore. Uh, Fortnite? No one's talking about Fortnite anymore. Yeah, he talks but, about old games and he goes like, no one talks about that anymore. I was like, yeah, because they're old games, dude. Wow, amazing. They're you... not on the front page of fucking Twitter anymore from a <laughs> game from three years ago. Wow! Cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what do you expect? I mean, if you get all your news from Twitter, you're going to get pretty much modern fucking news, dude. But all right, whatever. Um, Reno Ryan in the house says, Phil also doesn't understand that many game developers are contracted to work on a project. Then when it's done, they move on to the next job. Yeah, well, he doesn't understand anything about the business, any kind of business, mo much less video game business. So yeah, you're right about that. The Poster Maker says, hates drama. New segment is all drama peddling. Hey, stop spreading these nuggets of truth, okay? Come on. You're right, though. J-Dog says, if he's babysitting them, why are they out of order? Yeah, great fucking point. Talk about the uploads. And uh, by the way, this upload behavior is, again, since he started YouTube, when back in those days, uploading was more of a thing, even though I'm sure most people didn't do it, but I could get the point more because you had to upload 10-minute segments, and sometimes they would fuck up, and he would actually do them in order then. But he's still doing it 12 years later when no one on fucking Earth has to babysit YouTube uploads anymore. You know, you put it in. And if it doesn't work, okay, you figure it out. Or, you know, or you could look at your phone or whatever. Do your live your life and then fix it. He just wants to stay in the office as long as possible because he has to be busy. I'm a yeah. big working person. Can't hang out with my wife. I'm I'm babysitting uploads, honey. No kids. I got I got other shit to babysit. But. It's uh, it's. I mean, it, the real answer is uh, uh, you got to assume it's his champion sign. Or you know some of his champions time. That's his alone champions time. I'm guessing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like like the you know what he should be doing. You know I'm sure we said it before, but upload them as unlisted or you know private. 
let them upload, put them out in order. But I'm guessing what he thinks is the best thing to do is just unleash them all upon the world as quickly as possible because that's the best way of getting He views. needs a day one views of the stream that mm -hmm. everyone just saw. Yeah, um, exactly. Like five minutes ago. Like it's 500 views for, and then he's going to bitch about when they get demonetized because so he needs more tips from that 20 cents he would have got. Literally yeah. 20 cents he would have got. Yeah. <laughs> I wish... Uh... I, I wish he took that mentality of babysitting stuff into his regular life as well. Like, you know, he's doing the laundry and just putting it up there, starting the machine and just sitting around in front of the machine until it finishes. <laughs> he doesn't do laundry. What are you talking about, bro? Uh, look, hypothetically. Adult. Let's say hypothetical that Hypothetical laundry. Okay. All right. Yes. That makes more sense. <laughs> he's sitting there watching it. Just he like sits on top of it like yeah, a little yeah. kid. Just in case something happens. I got to be here. I'm busy, mm. guys. Very busy. Very serious businessman. A business degree, okay? Valedictorian, all right? Uh, you, you, you brought up, just quickly, you brought up about him <clears throat> uploading uh, the, the non-raw footage earlier. Um, and it, got, it reminded me the other day, I remembered um, a point I, I wanted to bring up, which is the only people that have ever benef benefited from this, you know, the, the fact that he uploads, you know, a couple of gameplay segments, data wrap, blah, 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 is the fact that, um, and, and versus just letting the stream be live, is that any time it's ever gone down, like because of a YouTube fuck up or something like that, or a, maybe a power cut or something like that, is that we get to see his reaction to that. You know, because he's recording locally, mm. we get yeah, to yeah. see. So, like, the only people that have ever benefited is like Secret Limited, because we get like, <laughs> we get to yeah. see the stream go down, and then you get to see, oh, stream's gone down you know and, and the chat's not moving and all that kind of stuff so yeah i just wanted to bring that up i just thought that was hilarious <laughs> big ups uh down forward punch says dsp owns zero editing software by the way professional streamer with a 15 year legacy okay yeah mm. he used to edit by the way he would make some stuff you know some little overlay some kind of titles and stuff it wasn't much but he would do it but now he lost all the software. I think since the Machinima contract ended, he hasn't had any software. Like, he used to have Machinima would hook their people up, I believe, with stuff. Now that's gone. Can't do it. There's no free options out there, guys, right? There's no free options. Get the fuck out of here. Can't do yeah, that. You know. That's conspiracy. Only we know yeah. about the free options. <laughs> he's, trying, yeah. he's trying to expose us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, look, people are yeah. saying about Da Vinci being free and being amazing. Like, people are legit turning to Da Vinci as, like, the... No, Platform, Da Vinci's where I it's believe. at, man. That's what yeah, I'm. Yeah. That's what I use for everything on WPIG is Da Vinci, 100. Oh. But anyways, you can't do that. We're all mouth rulers. Logan K says, if he wanted true inputs, he'd use a controller cam, which some fighting game streamers do. But he knows he's always. Oh God, can you imagine? First of all, that's too much work. Get the fuck out of here. He's. Do you operate household, Logan? Do you know about this? I can't do controller cam. What's wrong with you? Second of all, that would show him actually mashing to the amazingly nth degree. He can't have that on. He cannot have that out there on the internet because we. It would just be trolls laughing at him, right? Basically, like his mashing is off the charts. You can hear it. Just mash, slam, slam in that fucking video. We the clip we played today already, smashing the fuck out of it. Yep. All shiny from the Italian oils spread around the around the console on the buttons. Be there's been hype. there's been multiple times too. I think this uh, this is the second time that I noticed it at least where he loses to an opponent. He gets really fucking mad. He starts slamming the controller and he accidentally gives them a thumbs up. Like <laughs> the, the opponent just beat him. Th that that was the that was the second time that happened when I streamed last night. It's like super funny and you can hear it too. It goes like blink and then you see like a thumbs up appear on the fucking thing and he doesn't notice and he just like quits out of the match after. Like, <laughs> and, like dude, that's your you know that's DSP spreading positivity, man. <laughs> Thanks, DSP. DSP positive, guys. DSP mm -hmm. positive. <laughs> Dist Optimus says, Phil is a master of verbal waterboarding. That's a good way to say it. Yes. Verbal waterboarding. You want to end yourself after the end of his speech is about whatever topic it fucking is. Because you are right about that. It's incredible. It is incredible. That's a great um, way of putting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and be awesome one says last one says him babysitting uploads reminds me of his old tweet i'm 30 minutes in the office uploading dmc3 videos but i'm the lazy one right yeah yeah that's a tweet he said he's babysitting uploads like that's work by the way that's what he's doing i'm in the office right now uploading dmc3 videos but i'm lazy right yes, just because yeah. you choose to do shit stupidly yeah. doesn't mean yes, you're right. not being lazy yeah. right sometimes yeah, doing smart, shit the dude. old way is lazy yeah like doing shit in the most inefficient way possible is still lazy right that's in a way it's lazy like you know like that's a different yep. form of laziness right 
Yeah, the laziness uh, but... is, uh, is he doesn't want to do it the fucking fast way. <laughs> <Easy Yeah>. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I, I work with some lazy people, but they are usually usually very clever in finding easy ways to get the job done, which I respect them for. They're still lazy, uh, but with him, it's just like this. It, it's it's not even productive laziness. It's just mm, yeah. we just avoid to find the better ways, and we pretend that the the shitty ways is a lot of work, and that we're doing something. Yeah, exactly. There's there's ways of being lazy where you can you can look at that and go. Actually, they've used their brain to be lazy there. You know, they're using AI to write the essay or they're, you know, they're, they're doing, you know, something along those lines. Whereas what he's doing is just, there's just never any outside the box thinking. It's always just, I'm most time, most of the time, he's just making lots more work for himself. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 he's, he's, it seems like his goal was to do his job the same way he's done it all along. Right. That's the ultimate goal is to do back in those days. Right. Yeah. Fuck, fuck improvements in how YouTube works and how video editing works. Oh, no, fuck that shit, man. We want to go. I want it to be like fucking 2013. That's the goal. That's what we're after. 2010, you know? Yeah, it's, which it's, was it's, unsustainable. Let's let's make it just unsustainable forever. Yeah, yeah. That that's, that's what he wants. But it's curated content, mouth drollers, stop spreading nuggets of truth, blah, 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 blah. Um, mm -hmm. I know yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, speaking of which... Uh, the trolls have now invaded and taken over his streams, creating a good old boys club mentality in his chat. And that's why he needs more mods. And the latest mod is, you wouldn't even guess it, uh, Who is Mr. It? Slayer the Pay Pig. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Pay enough and you get the mod ship. Yeah, it's a perk, dude. He makes the most unintelligent people mods. I'm sorry. Like you, you want, you want, you ideally want like at least the like like I I symbolically will make people mods. I don't know whether they're smart or not. I mean, you're watching yeah. my content, so you're probably dumb to be quite honest. But like, mm -hmm. you know, you're watching piece of piece. It means you're <laughs> you like intelligence. But like, fair the 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 mods that like actually I don't know mod shit. It's like if I was like a regular streamer, I would have them like you know I'd want them to have good intuition and like you know, be able to act independently and shit like that. He he gave he gave Slayer trial mod ship. He said, don't ban anyone. You know, you you only have like timeout authority. <laughs> like so if someone's saying like, you know, cat cat black got black or whatever is like yeah. you just time them out. And it's like <laughs> it's like it's like the uh what do you call it? like you know when you start a job you have like a, a three month you know period where you're Probation. what is it, like probationary period. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that type of shit. I'm like, dude, it's Slayer. Come on, man. It's fucking Slayer. He like comes home from the glue factory. He's like at DSP Gaming. I'm here. I'm here. I just got off work. And it's like, okay. Yep. And now just do your fucking job that I'm not going to pay you for. That's the thing. Like modding for Dave like is like is like a fucking job. But like I would say like if you're a mod for like someone big, like you know, someone with like 10,000 people in the stream chat or something. Sir, Sir it basically Boy, is a yeah. fucking job because you're yes. like, you're yeah. raking through the muck, right? Yeah. But like, he's got nothing going on. And so it, it's it's this thing where he wants he wants them to have this like, this, it like make it like a job where you fucking show up. But there's, it's like, you don't need that level for your fucking dent chat, that type of shit. <laughs> um, and still... No one's willing to fucking do it. And he's got to uh -huh. like pull on like the and he's using Derek to make tear makers now. It's like he's just <laughs> pulling from the actual bottom of the fucking barrel at this point, man. Yep. Because what else on? is there? That's the real fans. What what else? Yeah. Who else is left? We that displays it clearly. He said, like, I asked Maz to show up, no one showed up. He literally said that, like made him feel bad. Like, I asked Maz to show up today, no one showed up. It's like, yeah, who wants to do that for you? Who wants to do it? They, they, the people that really like DSP want to watch DSP and not spend time doing actual, like, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call that work. Being a mod is, it can be work when you have to really do shit. For DSPs, it's so simple, though. But still, like, I feel bad for Slayer, kind of. Because he just wants to fucking watch, man. He spends eight hours a day in the fucking glue factory. I yeah. just want to watch my favorite streamer. I don't want to be doing work afterwards, you know? I feel bad for him. You know he's hyped yeah. for it, too. Yeah, no, no, for sure. And, like... <laughs> I, I, I have this like thing where like like you uh you guys may not know this, but I am I I'm kind of a compassionate person, right? But so like <laughs> I have this thing where I have this thing where like I look at someone like fucking Slayer and I'm like 
you know, he's just some fucking, I don't know, dunce, I guess some guy. Yeah. yeah and he wants yeah. to watch shitty DSP content, right? Like that's his, that's his thing. And it's like, but at the same time, it's just really funny making fun of him. And so it's like, oh my God, I have this like conflict. But no, it's 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 always funnier to make fun of him. So fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Slayer is someone you kind of feel bad for. Like, somehow, who knows his life situation? But he got wrapped into like, thinking DSP is cool. It's like, all right, that's step number one is fucked up. But now he's like, you know, he's <laughs> I feel bad for him. The videos he submits to DSP, by the way, are batshit insane. It's propaganda videos from Singapore. And they're... It, it, it's I can't even explain it. It's like they do like army like displays of force, but it's all fake, right? And it's like oh, this yes. is how we handle this is how we handle hackers. And they'll like the hackers will cause a fire in an office, <laughs> and like that's the hackers doing it. And then they have like live action hacker defense force comes in, <laughs> and it, 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 you I you can't believe it exists on this earth, but it does. And like the, if Slayer thinks this is cool and real. He, it, it, I can't. I don't know what to say. It's so odd. Like I, I feel bad for Slayer, man. I, I do. I feel bad for Slayer for so many reasons. But if he thinks that, like that, that propaganda shit is like cool, and like I guess that's the goal of it. If you're in Singapore and you're a Singaporean person, do you think that's cool? I don't know. I, I just, it's so weird. I can't wrap my head around it. It's so odd. It's like they do, like they, they have like people jumping from the sky, and then they'll like fake fight, and like. There's like explosions that's clearly like fireworks. And it's like, do people think this is cool? Or if they think it's not cool, they'll get shot. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Anyways, enough nonsense about Singapore. Uh, but Super Scuffer says, big ups detractors. Thank you so much for that. Um, but anyways, in the end, Slayer is a DSP fan. And that's nothing else we can say about than that. For whatever yeah. reason, he got wrapped up to it, and uh, now he's a mod. So big ups to being a mod. Slayer. What if he's in the Discord? Oh, see, that's dangerous, right? Because people like that, you know, some people like to run ops. Let's be real. And yeah. someone like that might be is oppable from someone else, right? Talk, hey, Slayer, this is, uh, you know, it's DSP gaming with an M or whatever. And like, hey, Slayer, what's going on? You know, <laughs> and that's DSP's got to be careful with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know. You know how people be. You know. Anyways. <laughs> sure. I gotta say, I, I don't feel any kind of sympathy or any kind of way whatsoever for those people. If they're gonna get scammed by DSP, then they're just that stupid and fuck them. And they should just yeah. get off the internet. Yeah, so, I mean, that's fair, fair. Slayer is fair. just another one of them. And there's been like dozens of them throughout the years. So he can just go do his own thing. True, true, true. That is fair. Uh, Meth Bear, this is from Meth Bear, by the way. TBS does not endorse this this comment. This this starts <laughs> off so like Meth yeah, Bear disclaimer true. segment. <laughs> yeah, this, this goes off Meth the rails. Bear, Meth Bear says. T that being said, does not say. Piece of piece does not say. This is Meth Bear saying. Clips print money for creators like Asmund Gold. Correct. Next, he should chop his stream up into more digestible portions, like he did Cat. <laughs> Team cannibalism. Very All right. Cool. Maybe we'll get a new coin for team cannibalism somewhere. We'll get Snort Exchange on that. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else left in your in, do you, Sam, do you have any clips for us to send us home today? Anything, any clips left on the board? We didn't say I, the clips jar. Yes, I've clips got jar. Go one ahead. button left uh, of, of, in my clips bank this week. Yes. And uh, it's completely sort of unrelated to anything we've been talking about today but that's fine um and Let i don't even think i don't even think it's it, it counts but last week we um we set the uh the q a challenge uh for the larpers and last week's word of the week was the was crow uh in <laughs> in uh because we had injured on basically yes yes uh anyway I had a look on Pig Pig Go, and there was several mentions of a certain film starring Brandon Lee. Um, and I'm going to count it because there's nothing else. Um, yes. So here we go. This is what we got. Uh, Jinx says, did you, did you, I don't know if it's true. Did you hear they're bringing back The Crow? Oh, my God. <laughs> if they bring back The Crow, you know what's going to happen. They're just going to reboot it, right? Um, what? I don't what? know why they would do that, honestly. Uh, the Crow, the first Crow movie is, is decent, like pretty good. Sadly, we lost. 
uh, Brandon Lee during the, film, the, the, the movie. I mean, it's infamous that he died. That's fair. Someone used an accidental real bullet instead of a blank, or was it a malfunctioning blank or something like that? That's <laughs> it was so awful. What a tragedy! Um, and then the sequel came out and it stunk. Like, do I really want to see more of the crow? No, not really. Even if they're rebooting <laughs> it, I don't really want to see it. So <clears throat> there you go. So I'm going to take it because we didn't get anything else. So thanks, DSP, <laughs> for that. Right. And I, I did look into it because I was wondering. Uh, I've just now realized that it was Jinx that asked that question. So I'm assuming maybe it wasn't. Uh, Who knows, lot, though? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember. But yeah, that's, that's what we got anyway. <laughs> All right. So for next week, though, guys, we're looking for, for, for this clip segment, clips, Sam's Clip Bank, obscure excuses, right? Fuck yes. this LARPer thing. It's not working out that well. New thing, obscure excuses that have been said by Dark Side Phil. Will we get any? Will we not get any? We're going to find out. Also, Meerkat, what's our timeline on the fanfic contest? When are we going to do that? I forgot about that. Have we decided yet? When we're going to do um, the final fanfic? I actually don't think we've decided yet, so okay, people need okay. to stay tuned. Stay we're going to announce it. We're going to announce we, it very shortly. But we'll say, like, if you want to keep submitting them, you more than welcome. Because we did say the, the deadline had passed didn't we on, on yeah like so Thursday. it's like if you have if you want to send it in still deadline's not the deadline's very soft okay it's extremely yeah. soft so go ahead but that'll do it for this week please piece of piece when are you planning to stream next do you have a schedule what are you doing this week let us know no um i think he's uh playing street fighter on tuesday i, I might i might boot up for tonight i think he's in call of duty again all know, right for old time's sake we'll see <laughs> gotta do it love your work piece of piece obviously meerkat any final words uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end up doing some kind of a stream somewhere next week. But after the 21st, I'm expecting to get some more free time to actually do these things. And something I, I miss doing very much is doing the Sunday React. Because that, if mm. I don't watch it live, it's not interesting. Because you Agreed. never know what's going to come up in the, the Dend playlist. Yeah, that's one of those things. You have to be streaming it or it's unbearable. But if you're streaming it, you can get through it. And yeah, I agree with that. It's, it's like... It's, it's you can't watch it when you're not streaming. It's just I want to die. Uh, but anyways, send us home, please. Uh, tonight, by the way, th that being said, uh, WPIG, we didn't finish Density Scrolls yesterday. There was one more thread, so super mini stream tonight on that on WPIG tonight. Bonus Density Scrolls content, DLC, guys. All right, go ahead, Sam. Finish it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Peace, for coming on. And here we go. Um, and then also there's there's you know quotes in there. Like, uh, have a burger, bitch. That's a different map when you shoot a grill and it explodes. <laughs> that should be in this game. Oh, uh, a burger, bitch. <laughs>actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all so it really doesn't matter if this this stream gets 100 likes or two i don't think it affects it
There's no trolls here Kevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Kevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes So, that being said, in reality, like I tell you that guys, being every said, day that's it, that being the said, one of my mannerisms. The next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, and Jasper, and, and you know, the things we get to do together. And I definitely want more time with them and more family time, but I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me. And by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am. So let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore. You know, like, I'm happy with who I am. I used to sniff my fingers, but I've kicked the habit. Now I touch my face. Did I ever punch a bee? Yes, I did. I actually have punched a bee.